So that guy wandered over to us. And they've killed another saber tooth. And we might get the next one up too. Got ourselves a second spear. As you can see, those stack. That seems to be all we picked up off of this guy. Maybe some arrows. All those arrows can become useful real soon. Now, we don't have a water source up here. We're, we are dependent on rain. Or we have to go back down to the beach. But where it's cold, you don't need to drink that much. It's really food that you go through in the cold. As long as you don't sprint. Alright, that, uh, that cat's coming. That cat's coming. Yep, here he comes. Now you could, you know, get your guys to attack it. If you set... I'm probably going to set and attack your target. It's sort of stupid they don't have one set right now. They killed up a level 68 saber tooth. That's quite nice. This is why we made the, the spark powder earlier. So we could huddle around fires. Yeah, I was losing health. And now I just came right next to the fire and I'm not. This is why we also were making all that cooked meat earlier. If you remember, I told you in the text, just keep making cooked meat. And that's because you could have brought it up here to the fire the cold and then you won't have to just stop and make it every every five seconds I think we'll cook up some more I think I think our guys are yeah, this one, they got a way to go so instead of worrying about maybe taming something we'll get meat from the stuff we kill so we'll cook some more meat while we wait as you can see by putting this armor on I've got a lot higher protection from heat I've got very little. I mean, this is picking up a little tiny bit of protection from uh, cold. But at least I got something. Ain't much. And I move away, it's, you know, ain't much. And as you can see, we've, by standing to the fire and getting the hyperthermal, ex in, the hypothermal uh, insulation from this new armor, we, we get up to about 135, which is keeping us just in this snowflake region. Our hyperthermal insulation is actually higher than this. We're standing right next to a fire. That actually brings, our, brings down our hypo, hyperthermal insulation. So when you're working with forges and things like that, you'll find yourself getting thirsty really fast for that reason. Oh, and we have this free hat, hat skin that we've had this whole time. You've probably noticed it. You maybe don't have this, because maybe you didn't get it for being a starter. Maybe you're watching this late, but the hat skins can be pulled right onto your hat. And I didn't get rid of my hat. Skins, like this is a skin. This isn't a saddle for a parasaur. These skins uh, don't get rid of the hat. If you want to, If you want to change your hat back, you just hit shift and pull the skin off. See? In doing that, I lost my hat skin. It doesn't happen with other hat skins, only the hunter hat skin. Uh, and you'll get one back as soon as you die, so don't worry about it. As you might have noticed, dying is the thing here. So even though I used a different type of food for the fire, wood, I get the same insulation. Even though the spark powder actually cooks food faster, it doesn't do anything to insulation. That's what I'm trying to show you there. I could put the thatch in there and do the same thing. If I'm still cold. I've got two forms of, of heat out. I can create a third form of heat. We, we purchased it earlier. The standing torch. It's really cheap to build. Just walk up to this tree behind us here. Skinny trees are now our enemy. Build one of these. And we can build ourselves a area that is free of death build a couple of these. 
these use very little fuel. So you can just place them wherever the hell. Oh, guess not. I guess this particular area is not willing to be standing toward. Up oh, there we go. There we go. There's one. So I can place just a little bit of this on here. And now my installation's up to 215. I could place another one. Wherever it'll let me place it. Right there. Put some more fuel in here. And I can stack three separate types of fire. Uh, so I could put, I could do this with cook fires. But I only really need the one cook fire to cook stuff. And these are eat, eat much less fuel. And they have fairly decent uh, amount of insulation. So now I've got my insulation up to 300. That's going to fight this cold. This negative 2 degree cold pretty well. In worst case, I can put on yet another insulating method. So even though it's minus two, I'm I'm happy. Here on the cold fang. I won't have to eat a bunch of food. I won't die from the cold. We're gonna do this until it reaches daytime. And I'll see you then. And you know, the reason we did a lot of this gathering down below, got a bunch of wood. We can put our sleeping bag down now, too, in case we get really screwed up. Why don't we do that? I'm going to put this sleeping... I know you think, oh, why don't you fires? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to put it behind these rocks where maybe it won't get destroyed by anything. Maybe uh, I'm a little further away from all the nasty nasties up there. That's why we did all of our gathering. We could survive the night time and wait through the night for the day. Alright guys, it's getting late. The temperature's picking up a little bit. We can start putting out our fires. Maybe we won't freeze to death. Oh, nope. Still freezing to death. Maybe we just run one of these. Maybe two. I think we'll also learn at this level the cementing paste, the gunpowder, and the stimulant. You'll notice we're using quite a lot of our points that we had to save the up at this point. Something like the wooden shield might be very, very useful to us. Uh, I don't know how long it is until we can get the sword. It's really not that useful until we can get the sword. We're going to hold some points back. There are some things we really want to do. We're going to reach back down and pull these pieces of armor a little bit in about five levels when we can make hide the things I'm taking are things you can make in the mortar and pestle that can be used to gain XP that's why we're taking them at this early juncture and because we've restarted to we can make gunpowder now with spark powder and, and charcoal we'll start to gather we'll start to hold on to this uh, charcoal that we're burning Alright guys, I think it's warm enough that we won't freeze to death. If we can at least use our... I think we can just use our torch. Yeah, we can use our torch. So we can start moving out. Finding more things to kill. Continuing our extremely high... Um, risk... Method of getting new tools and new weapons. And experience. Make sure you look really hard. There are really harsh things up here. We can start seeing T-Rexes... We can see, you know, more big packs like we've already seen. This open land is actually really good for us. You know, our stuff can continually attack. We're going to bring in some birds next. They have low health. 
They have low damage. They're really good for transport later, uh, and I used to use them as my method of of leveling, but we can't anymore. They've been nerfed to living hell. And we might start using things like these dimorphodons that you see here, or uh, the compies that you've seen already. I, I have a, I have high hopes for using compies as our pack animal to get us through to level 60 to 70. All right, we just went over a really dangerous spot. All right, there's a T-Rex. We are turning around immediately. We are not playing with the T-Rex. We are not, not, not playing with the T-Rex. Come on. Come on, derp. This is a place where you're going to die for being stupid. Come on. You'll see that the dino AI is, is commonly what hitches you up the most at these situations. So we know he's up there. Doesn't mean we have two choices to move. We can move, well, many choices. We can go down, we can go further up. I really want to go left. I, I, I have good feelings about left. Right, I've seen a lot of alphas. I mean, I'm, this is we're in an area that I know really well. So I can guide you really well through it. So what we're going to do is we're going to back way off towards this edge that we, where we came in. And we're going to go around that T-Rex, but we're going to go around it low while it eats the things up high. Our creatures generally don't get stuck on rocks, not, not, not easily. Just trees. So this denuded area of the mountain is pretty much perfect hunting for us. There's another T-Rex. Well, guys, I think that answers where we're going, because like I said... Oh. Carno. Oh, no, 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 no. I used that tight tree spot to get away from this guy. As you can see, there's a lot of obstruction, and as you know, I I have a tremendous hate of obstruction. Stuff can come at you over the horizon, come at you around the trees. I like the mountains because I can get really high and look down and see all the stuff that's below me and make accurate and clean decisions. Like you can see right here, I can see... I'm not seeing above me. I know there's all kinds of T-Rexes and stuff, and quite possibly more, more, uh, saber tooth things like that up this way. We gotta be careful. This is a very risky, very, very risky method. Here comes a raptor. We'll have it attack our pack. Let's see how fast these are. Didn't have anything on it. And again, we're running that really low... That really low uh, food number that we were running earlier. If we could finally get a bow, we could try... We could, you know, help with this a bit. Here's another raptor. He'll come right at us. Pull him again. Behind. We'll go behind our pack. That epic view distance is really helping us as two raptors, actually. I think. Yeah. This is a very dangerous area. Because of all the rocks. Because we can fall off this cliff if something kicks us. Be afraid. Be afraid. I've seen T-Rexes, more scorpions. All kinds of stuff up here. And if it's more scorpions, that's fine. Anything besides a T-Rex, I'm pretty sure we can take on, or an Alpha. I'm going to come in with as clear a sight line as possible. There's another Raptor right there, and that one's found us and is heading towards us. We'll come in behind our pack. Hello? Mr. Raptor Man. Oh, he's stuck. This might be a chance, guys. He's stuck. We're going to take a shot. Getting ourselves a raptor. Oh, 
Hopefully I'll knock out soon. And we might kill this guy. He's down. He's down. We got him. We do have meat. We've saved meat. This closed up front is a great way for us to die to that T-Rex. So we're going to break this sucker right now. Pretty sure that was the tail of a T-Rex we saw whipping around. Hope you guys saw it. Just a little blink. It's just a, a natural uh, higher DPS creature for us. No, another another fast attacker to add to our pack. They don't get stuck very easily, so when these big guys get stuck and our, our scorp gets stuck, this guy might go out and get himself killed, but it's okay. We just want to aggregate more DPS if we can. Any chance we get to aggregate more DPS on our side, we will take. While we're waiting, we'll fix our weapons. We have all the stuff to do that. This is dangerous. I saw a big tail whip earlier. I'm pretty sure there's one big guy in the area. Alright, here's a there's a bird up above us, an Argentavis. Our pack should probably be able to take that out, especially with our help. But really, first I want to make 100%... There we go. Alright, what the heck. We'll fire on this guy. Bow would be way better. Got a lot more range. Down here. There you go. Come on, fight. Let's have a fight. He's hurting me. This is where our food... We've killed him. They have low hit points, which is what we like about them. They can hurt us from the air. It's a little sad, but... If one of them would give us a bow, we'd have a much better chance. We don't need these talents for anything. We really don't need another stone pick. Really, really worried about that big tail I saw earlier. That could have been a Bronto, but up in this range, it's most likely... Hey, there he is! Actually, guys, I'm going to do something really nuts. Really, really, really nuts. Just top-of-the-line nuts. I'm going to try to tame this T-Rex with a slingshot. That, you don't know. I know how nuts that is. You guys don't. It's really top-level nutty. Really a bad choice on my part. This is a bad, bad choice on my part. He is stuck. That doesn't mean that other stuff... You know what? We're going to keep our pack following us. I'm not that dumb. We're going to whistle them to neutral so they don't just attack. Because it's a T-Rex, guys. It will kill them. They're stuck on a rock. T-Rexes are... Well known for getting stuck on rocks. But I, this is a short-range weapon. I don't even have really enough shots. I think I can even shoot it from here. Oh, I can. I'm just going to keep shooting it and seeing what happens. If it breaks off, I am in such trouble, guys. Whatever you do in this situation, do not, under any circumstances, change where you're, where you're standing. If it is stuck and looking at you, keep it stuck and looking at you. It won't get stuck on trees. It'll break the trees. I'll get some free damage on it this way, but eventually it's going to turn and flee. And when it does that, it's going to break off. And it's going to be pissed, and I might lose my whole pack because I made this choice. By the time it does that, I'll have blown my entire rock wad. This is stupid. This is right up there with the, about the dumbest things I've ever done. Got, I've already got a second slingshot. If I had a bow, this would be a lot less dumb choice. But I don't even have that many rocks. I mean, it's going to take like 300 of these rocks. Even if this is level 2. I have no idea what level it is because I'm too scared to walk up to it. When it breaks off, it's going to kill me. And with the new flea mechanic, I, I pretty much, I'm pretty sure I've killed myself, guys. To be honest, I'll be honest with you, I'm pretty sure this is going to be an instantaneous death of me. But if I take it, it's epic. So I'll take the shot. Because worst case, what do I got to do? I got to do exactly what we've done so far again. And I'll gain all the same experience again. 
because I'm not afraid to die. Don't be afraid to die for things you believe in. I have no idea whose voice that is. My voice done stupidly. Oh sh! Time to run away. Hope he gets stuck on another rock. He's got a much bigger turning radius than me. Although my slow ass get stuck on things creatures might cause me a problem. And I think he's running. That ain't gonna happen for long. And I just gotta hope he gets stuck. I mean, I ran through these rocks very clearly to get him stuck. If he doesn't, then it's gonna be a bad time for my guys. Uh, he took some damage from me. He might go down. Alright, we lost derp one. That's to be expected. My guys might push him right off the hill. I can keep fighting. Don't go with him, derp one. Don't go with him, guys. Alright, build the Rex. Partially because I did so much damage to it already. Try to go back and get the berries that were on derp one. I think I took the berries off, so I'm not going to worry about it. Our guys are beat up. I mean, B-E-A-T-E-E-E -E 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 up. Look at that. 50 hit points. This was beyond stupid on my part, to be honest. But it worked. Maybe we get lucky and we get something good out of it. I don't see anything so far. Just some really beat up dinosaurs. Nah, the guy just gave us some XP. And nearly killed our poor syringe here. We're going to go over here and we're going to on its body. I'm going to chop up its butthole and feed it to syringe and level up syringe's health some. I'll show you how to do that. The syringe, you may not know this, but, you're, but scorpions really do like butthole meat. So it's a well-known fact that scorps are really Partial to butthole meat. That's why they eat the spoiled meat so much. So this guy's dangerously close to death. So we're going to take some of our reserves of meat. And we're going to just remote use it. And as I do that, you should see that this speeds up quite a bit. So hopefully see the difference in the rate of speed. My computer isn't freezing. Now we've got this guy at least up to half. Maybe he won't die the next time we see something. Something else you can sometimes do to uh, get your guys unstuck. Just where did he go this time? We just lost our dinosaur. I, I have no idea where that guy just went. We're gonna check back up the way we were, cause I, he's just got slingshotted into the universe, guys. Hopefully, we didn't lose anything on him. That this happens sometimes, and our attack power is way lower. We're, at this point, we want to find our trike and leave. It'd really be an end of the day to, for us. These are the kind of weird things that happen. They haven't fixed these things. Maybe by the time you guys are watching this, you'll be saying, "Oh ho, you! This is an old video, and it's a time of the past." and Dinosaurs, although they nerfed everything, that they they still they at least now their AI is better and they don't get slingshotted off into the world. So, you know, we don't care as much whether our dinosaurs, you know, are act like Stay Puft Marshmallow Men instead of fierce creatures. I mean, we lost a really large part of our defense right there to whatever the hell that was. He's probably down there somewhere. That is not a great place for us to go, but that's where we're going. In the hopes that that's where he went. I mean, I really just don't know. Oh, do you see it? Did you see it? That's where he went. You could see him getting fired off into the sunset, so we're going to go try to save him. Just realize, again, that it's me. So look, I I'm not going to pretend to be a G-rated guy. Shit happens. Shit happens. You have to realize it happens. Our guy is trying to get back to us. He's right there on the beach. He was fired in the, off the entire mountain. And now he's 
sitting over there trying to figure out how to get up this hill. We're going to take this drop on. Guys. Seriously? Seriously, guys? Seriously? This is okay, though. I mean, we've done some leveling for the day. This is what we're going to do for a while. We're just going to bring our pack, try to try to increase our pack size. Fight stuff. Did you get anything out of jumping off the thing? No. Of course not. Fight stuff, try to increase our pack. Maybe we'll go grab that trike down there next. And continue to get up in these in this top part here and attack. 